Hey gang, Dave here getting any outdoors and today I'm coming at you live and on location. Well, it's my backyard. So, uh, uh, oh, one thing, check this out. Oh, made my own shirts. I made my own shirts. Screen printing, the whole jazz, all of it, me. So you can do all that stuff yourself if you're into that kind of wonky stuff or it's not that hard if I can do it. Uh, what I'm going to be giving you guys today for some footage is how to repair a hole in a sports belt canoe. Mm. Now, I've been waiting a little while to try and find a canoe with a hole in it. No luck. No luck. They're too tough. <laughs> no, they get holes. Uh, so, I thought about it, thought about it, thought about it. Okay, how do I get a hole in my canoe? My canoe. I was afraid to ask permission to do this to a shop canoe so hang tight I'll show you some stuff what I'll do to my canoe and how to fix it okay here's the scenario you've left your canoe on your favorite little duck pond trout pond what have you you come back from week working and just can't wait to get in your canoe go trout fishing duck hunt whatever that and you found somebody left you a little present and now your canoe does not float very well so here it is somebody has likely taken and flopped one of these through your canoe somewhere and now it doesn't Keep the water out very well and likely they didn't throw it at it so they ripped her through the old smoke pipe here and bad day bad day all right now what do we do that's my canoe if i want to go fishing tomorrow i gotta get that fixed wish me luck all right now oh, let's get these things out Ah, let's look at what some somebody did to my poor trusty canoe. Ooh, that'll let some water in. So will that. I guess that's where the I don't know something went through. Something went through. So I got some holes to fix, and I picked a nice cute spot to do it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys from here forward how to do a repair kit installation on a sports pal Radisson canoe. All right, wind picked up. Had to put on a long sleeve. Anyways, I'm gonna show you what comes with the repair kit for a sports pal Radisson canoe. You're gonna get a tube of sealant. This stuff is amazing. Uh, enough screws to do the job. Two little sheets of tin. Uh, the tip for the sealant. Can of spray paint to match the color of your boat. And that's all you're gonna need. Did I say two pieces of tin? Two of them. Uh, that's all you're gonna need as far as that to complete the job from Sports Pals End. Now from your end of the deal, you're going to need cordless drill, a rag you don't want anymore. Uh, I would recommend a pair of ice grips or pliers. A little bit of sandpaper, 332 drill bit, S1 Robertson driver bit, or the green Robertson. Of course, one of these to get the sealant out of that tube, big old buzzard. And I just got some green dish soap water down in that jug. So, it's time to start stripping this thing apart. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna expose I got this on stupid selfie mode. What I gotta do is I gotta pop out a couple of ribs, probably these three, peel the foam back, I can tuck it up under there. And that will let me see what kind of damage some fool did to the inside of my canoe. This is my favorite canoe, by the way. So, uh, whoever did that, I think he surprised the heck out of the bugs in here. Alrighty, folks. Come on. Let her go. Let her 
Inferno! I was a little nervous. I just about touched that one with whatever came through that side. Ooh, it hit right. These ribs have been in for probably 20 years. Ooh, big spider. Uh, so they don't always pop out. Ooh, look at the ants. Yeah, well. Big spider. Big spider eating them ants. Now because that one's ripped up so much, I'm gonna put a little caveat. I am gonna hammer that flat. Look at that, punched a perfect hole. Wow, who knew? I'm gonna get a hammer, hammer that kind of back flat so the two pieces of aluminum go nice and flat. Ended up grabbing a hammer and a loose headed hatchet. Hear that? Heading on that thing's about as loose as the guy that just shot my canoe. to do when you're not trying to make the camera shot more important. There. Happy with that. This is where the sandpaper comes in, or emery paper, or in this case. All I'm doing is I'm to scratch it. If my wife was here right now, she would absolutely lose it. That little earwig over there would cause her to go nuts. She doesn't find them particularly cute or anything. You want to make sure you give us a good, 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 good scratching so that any years of oxidization or dirt, mud, whatever is on there comes off, duck crap, uh, things you may run into. I'm going to do the same on the bottom side. I'll leave you guys up here. Green dish soapy stuff and a rag. I'm not too worried about being neat on this, so I'll just give her some of that. And. I have done this a not shot my canoe but I have rep repaired a few canoes so this is where I recommend using the vice grips or pliers whatever to hold these two pieces of aluminum together that's gonna go right there but what I want is this to be fairly tight because I'm going to drill some holes that I would like to line up on both sides of that sheet and what I'm gonna do is I'll just end up popping a couple maybe three or four on each side for now Special care should be taken that there could be a rough edge on this and that drill bit that's coming through is sharp so keep your fingers clear of the bitey parts. Okay, okay, okay. Get your sealant, it's like this. You gotta take this little baby off the back. Throw it up there for somebody else to find. And the end of that thing there should be sealed. Need a pokey. That's nice that down there so I don't wipe my shirt on it. Cut her on a nice angle. Insert it into your cocking gun. And I'll get these together right now. Because one's going on the bottom, one's going on the top. So what I'm gonna do, just to make sure I have the hole properly sealed all the way around, I'm making a nice little Damn, all the way around. Go too deep. Nope, there we go. And I think that might be. I'm checking on the bottom to see whether I'm 
clear of the keels on both sides, which I didn't plan that way, but I was kind of lucky. I didn't hit one of them with a slug. Get in there. Shaky. Too much coffee. A little blood sugar. No, I'm good. I hope I'm good. Okay, next trick. I'm going to do the same kind of. Maybe I should weight that too. Okay, I just give that a quick little weight with that same sealant. Or, sorry, the same washing solution I have, which is dish soap. Um, oh, yeah, that's six nights. Oh, come on. And this is where you need monkey arms. We're going to switch to your little driver bit. And I'll probably slow the drill down a little bit because he's still on drill. Now, you guys still watching or what? Yeah? Okay. Okay. This is where I can. Probably can't see what I'm doing, but all I did was start one screw in there so I can go underneath, stick her up through the bottom, and it'll hit one of the corners. Hopefully. You guys better still be watching up there. Okay. Hey, how would I do that so so slick? So slick. Okay. Hey, how would I do that so, so slick? So slick. Now I'll grab a couple screws and try not to grab an earwig or an ant. That'd be nice. Now, some of the holes may not line up very what I'm gonna do is just drive right through anyways. Now, this is a part that requires a little special care if you're doing something stupid like this. Because I'm doing something stupid like this, I'm going to not put my fingers in the way. Can't see. My arms ain't long enough. This is nice. See yeah, a little part, this would be cool. A lot easier. Oh, oh no, I scratched it. I scratched my finger. Where is that? Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, this is going to get a little bit easier now. Because these holes aren't drilled through to the water, water will not come up through them, and they will be sealed anyways, because I am going to waterproof the heck out of this baby. Is I will finish my drilling from this side. Hey, that didn't go in all the way. I'll fix that. What a cool t hobby for your day off, eh, guys? Cool hobby. Pop holes in your canoe that you use all the time. Just to show people how to fix it. We're all truck repairs. <laughs> no, don't. I, you won't see me doing that. I can fix a canoe. Can't fix a truck. Uh, well, that'll do for now. Okay, I'm going under. I'm going to put screws in all them holes. And then we're going to seal it. Pat her down. And that's it, guys. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. You guys still watching there? 
You better be. You better be. Okay, let's go through. Let's see what's going on. Hold it right. Let me see how long we got. There's one, one, two. And once you grab that, figure it's your hole. The screw is there, so it's going to pull straight through. And if you're going to blow a hole in your canoe, just a patch it. Do it out the side where you can reach on both on both sides nice and easy. Oh, you don't have to crawl under, above, under, above. <sighs> yeah. What an idiot. There we go. Thanks for your patience. I am back. All the screws are all the way around, all the way in nice and tight, as tight as I need them. So all I'm doing now, I'm just gonna do a loop around here, just a nice, nice gob, covering all the screws and the seam. And to make sure I get all the way around these screw tips and screw heads on the other side, I'm going to use a pretty sophisticated tool, which is a stick. This is a poplar stick of the Northern Ontario variety. So. Just smear it around, smear it around, it'll stick. So, this is a nice rough smear gel on it. Okay, that looks nice, eh? Does ever look nice? Now, how am I going to adjust that? One says. I'm going to take that rag I've been wiping everything down with, more of this dish soap. I'm going to soak that rag. Not worry about even keeping it somewhat dry. I'm just going to tap it down tight around all the screws and seams. Now, in my experience, just what I've done there right now would probably 99% fix the problem. It just look ugly as sin on the outside. Well, that look here. Uh, but I am going to flip it over, do the same to the outside, and show you what that looks like as well. Okay, here's the outside. I point the caulking gun kind of towards the, the edge of where the seams meet. That way I'm forcing the sealant in between the sheets. I don't know whether it helps, just what I do. No, I've gone and done it. I misplaced my stick. Oh, there it is. And for those wondering, this is a poplar stick. I didn't already mention that. Then you're just swirling around the screw heads as well as making sure that you cannot see any of the sheet. If you noticed earlier in this video, you've seen my canoe before, somebody popped a hole in it. It had another patch along the side of it before. Not going to tell you what that was. Oh, dirt in it. Nice. Windy. Hurricane gale force winds. Mix that dirt right in there. We'll see if that helps. A little more Canadian content. Got some Canadian dirt on the dope. So the ceiling's called is dope. Not me, not anything I, I'm not smoking. All right, the stick, put it aside for proper disposal. Get my wet rag, dishy soapy stuff. It's good and, good and wet and soapy. And tap it down. Now I'm going to rinse that off. That's really good. Because I want to be able to show you guys this next last step. But I need to seal it a little bit dry. As you can tell, the texture of this washcloth is leaving a nice little print on it. So if you have a specific pattern of cloth that you would like to install on your canoe, you could always go with that. But I prefer the spongy texture. Okay, last step. This canoe is 20 years old, so this paint won't match perfectly because it's been out in the sun. As you can tell, it's treated really nice. However, it can fade. So, touch up can they call this olive drab this color so what i'm going to do is give it a little hopefully it's not too windy oh i should have mopped up that water oh well okay i'm going to finish 
that off after this dries because I got some water still in there. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, learn from my mistakes, folks. Make sure it's dry. But it's supposed to be raining here within the next hour, so I don't want to be out here all day because I do have other things to do on my weekend. Uh, the only thing left is put that liner down, put those three ribs in that I take took out. I have other another video that shows how that's done, so I'm going to leave you guys right there as far as that part of the process. I get out of that holder, and I don't know. Looks kind of cute if you ask me. There you have it, guys. Repair kit for the Sports Pal Radisson canoe. Hope you guys appreciate what I'm doing to show you this this kind of footage. Uh, <laughs> the personal pains I go through. Uh, I got to have a little fun at the start of this one. Then I had to go to work on it. Uh, that's it. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. Just anything you want to see, any outdoorsy stuff even. Uh, hunting season's coming up here very, very shortly. So you're gonna see a little bit of bird hunting and stuff like that maybe. Uh, I'm gonna try my hand at bow hunting for the first time this year. Mm -hmm. Somebody gave me an old compound bowl. Don't know how safe this is, but I'm going to try it. So like, subscribe, share, follow this guy. Um, I make my own swag. Did I mention I make my own swag? Eh, just everybody in the house has to wear it. <laughs> so until next time, guys, see you on the water.